BTQ up to 23.96%. This is on top of the 31.12% it printed yesterday, the 6th of October. Intraday high in this session, to open for seven dollars Yeah, the stock has just uh, been around only how many, just uh, roughly one whole week and uh, some days, one whole week and some days. So there isn't enough data going on on the stock. Let's see. Well, the later we have here, the 10 and 21 period moving averages are all trending. Yeah, given that the stock, you can, can clearly see that the, the stock is in, an, um, is in a short term uptrend. Yeah, just a couple of days uptrend. Yeah, the 10 and 21 period moving averages have already formed. Yeah, because they measure this is the average of 40, this is the average of 40, 40 trading hours. This is the average of 84 trading hours, obviously, that all of those have already uh, occurred. So let's see what's going on with the stock. It's currently trending right now. BTQ Technologies is trending following its recent NASDAQ debut, which has drawn significant attention from both retail and institutional investors. The company's momentum has been amplified by news of a strategic partnership with a major Korean payment processor aimed at deploying quantum secure stablecoin settlements, a move that positions BTQ at the intersection of quantum cybersecurity and blockchain innovation. The community is buzzing with speculation about BTQ's growth trajectory, as this partnership highlights a tangible, revenue-generating application of quantum technology, something many competitors in the sector have yet to achieve. Enthusiasts argue that BTQ's quantum-safe cryptography solutions could make it a key player in securing next-generation digital payment systems against quantum attacks, a concern growing among financial institutions and governments worldwide. Traders and analysts on social platforms are also debating the company's valuation, noting that BTQ remains relatively undervalued compared to larger quantum computing firms, despite its real-world commercial use cases. This perception of hidden potential has sparked discussions about long-term accumulation and institutional entry points, with some speculators even calling BTQ a potential sleeper stock in the quantum technology sector. Overall, sentiment around BTQ technologies is bullish, driven by its early mover advantage in quantum secure infrastructure, the expanding global demand for digital security solutions, and its recent successful listing, which provides greater visibility and access to capital. Many believe that if BTQ continues to secure high-profile partnerships and demonstrate commercial adoption, it could emerge as a major player in the rapidly evolving quantum cybersecurity landscape. Yeah, so this is how things are going on right now. This is the pre-market session. This is the order book. Yeah, let's see. People are expecting 11K. That's an aggressive beat to get in at uh, 11.2 at the current price. People are expecting yeah 11.40 to come in so that they can exit. Um, 11.54, 11.66, Yeah, okay, that's the that's the furthest. To the downside, let's see, let's see what people are doing. Ten point nine one, okay. Okay, ten point uh, eleven dollars. This this could also be short selling. People are. Expecting that um, it may plunge so that they can exit that 10. You never know. It may not just be people expecting to buy the deep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's the that's the lowest. Yeah, so we uh, there isn't really any ambitious uh, projections out there currently on all these uh, charts. We haven't seen anything really ambitious. Uh, this is the one minute chart. Uh, let's see what we have here. 12.09. That's not really that ambitious. 12.44. We, we already have an intraday high of 12.47. Yeah, 12.02. 11 11.58. Let's have a look at the two minute chart. Eleven, 
nothing we've seen that already 11.99 top 0 2 11.7 8 9.89 9.69 8.84 nothing like that let's quickly have a look at the three minute chart which currently 12.44 we've seen that already 9.56, 11.74, Okay, we've seen those already. Let's have a look at the five minute chart. 9.84, 9.86, 9.87, 9.88. Yeah, we've seen, we've not really seen anything ambitious. All we can do is now come here and uh, take this high of 12.47 and then we remove uh, this low of uh, 9.35 9 from it. Yeah, let's see what we, what, what we, we're going to have. Um, that will give us 3.12, 3.12, 3 so that's the difference. 3.12 we, with that we can now do extrapolate we can do projections multiply 3.12 by 1.618 fibonacci extension level and then we have a product of 5.04 we add that to 11.31 we have 16.35 okay that's the first projection so the difference again is uh, 3.12 Multiply by 2.618 Fibonacci extension level, we get 8.16. We add that to the current price of 11.3, we have 19.46. Okay, we try again. 3.12 multiplied by 3.618 Fibonacci extension level, we have 11.28. We add that to the current price of 11.3, we have 22.5. So. We have been able to compute projections going all the way 22.58. I think um, such prices, such levels, going by what we what the other other rivals, other yeah, other uh, companies, other stocks in the in the game, the crypto in the quantum crypto, quantum game, yeah, like um, QB, QBT, RGTI. I don't think twenty two dollars is out of place. I don't think it's out of place. So have a look and. Uh, see what you make of uh, uh, BTQ and uh, thank you very much for watching this video.